Hey everybody and welcome back to From Geyser to Greatness with me, GDW365. If you joined us last time, we managed to su uh, successfully get our place in the playoffs. Uh, we finished uh, third? Yeah, third, which meant that we start away from home against Bradford Park Avenue in the playoffs. It's going to be a double match, uh, as in against we're going to be playing against Bradford Park Avenue. It's going to be both legs. Uh, we're away first. We did lose last time against Bradford Park Avenue, but they have a bit of a, a weird, like end of the season beat us and they've lost to North Ferry Bridge recently. We, I think, believe we drew 1-1, yeah, recently with them. But yeah, as you can see there, we lost 2-0. So Worcester have got Oxford City. Now, we've just re we've just seen that we can beat Oxford City away from home, um, which obviously, Wembley's a neutral uh, venue. Should we get there? But I'm not going to count my chickens just yet. This is going to be a hard game. Make no mistake. Absolutely no mistake. <clears throat> so... We played well last time. Another defensive howler or something. What was what was the goal that we conceded? It was a keeper. Was a, a bit terrible. Let's just say that, right? Anderton. Oh, Shane Cook's looking a bit tired. I'm a bit reluctant to take him out, if I'm honest. It's his last game potentially. In fact, we'll play him in this game. Uh, Brandon Wilson did pretty poorly in the last game, but Archie Love can come in here. Danny Lowe is probably going to replace Ben Parker just because of fitness reasons. Um, Darren Anderson is going to have to play. He's our only attacking midfield option, barring Andy Holsworth, who can play in a, comp a competent level in that position. Darcy O'Connor, you know what? You're going to come in instead of Will Edgy. It's a bit of a risk, but you know what? It looks like he's improved. He has. He's now two and a half star. Well done, Darcy O'Connor. Just don't miss your header like last time, you schmuck. And you are the covering defender because you are quicker. Uh, so sorry, well, well Edgy, uh, you do do okay, uh, but you know when you when your heading stats been seven all season, it's a bit poor. Really, I should have put you on a, a regime, but never mind. So we've got Capi Capitani back, but and he can play attacking mid to be fair, uh, but he's not going to be the most effective. Looking at it, uh, his passing stats only seven, and that's so we'll have to see. Um, well, no other changes I think are going to need to be made. Um, I think we just jump into the game. We've got a strike on the bench in, sh in the shape of Sean Mullen with his three goals all season. Let's submit the team. Let's jump in it. I already have some thoughts on the players for next season. It all depends on what division I'm in. We are away from home. We are not favourites at all. So we are just going to get to the team talk. We're going to say this. Ah, oh, we don't get chance to. I was going to say, oh, we are the, uh, we are likely to, um, you know, we are the massive underdogs, play without pressure, etc. I'm going to go for that one. That seems to be the, the one that most no motivates them. Let's uh, passionately get the comments going. Everyone more or less is green. There's three players that aren't, but so what. We're going to the overview. We're going to change it to a uh, counter again because we are away from home after all. And then we are going to change that with ball into box, take that off, uh, clear ball to flanks, push higher up and be more expressive. Uh, stops us from being more expressive. Let's start the game. Shane Kirk is not the fittest neither. Anderton and Johnson gets underway. Long ball over the top. Great ball to Johnson. Score, son. Good effort. Just gone wide. And we do have this here, which I can probably alter. Um, do it like that, maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can see ratings and we can see that they're like this now. It doesn't take as much room as before. So it's a corner early doors. Well, 25 minutes in. And Nuttall heads it over the bar. I'm pretty grateful it's not on target. So I just all I can think of is um, we're going to concede. Uh, it looks like they did actually hit the woodwork as well, but oh no, we've got a problem. And that problem is that Adam Boys has injured our only recognised left midfielder, barring Wayne Brooksby, who did score last time he played there. And then uh, it's a case of we move. Uh, we haven't really got any options on the bench. We move. You know what? Alex Johnson can play on the right. He can slightly. He's got an unconvincing uh, stat on there. So he's going to move to the right uh, as an inside forward, which might not be too bad. And then Mullen is going to come on. Um, 
eventually I'm probably going to have to move Holdsworth into the advanced playmaker role. Just due to injuries and whatever you. So come on, Sean Mullen. Prove your worth. You're seven finishing. Come on. There it is. Seven finishing and seven heading. Got decent off the ball and, and physical stats. And it's nil-nil. And to be honest with you, I'll probably take a nil-nil taking it into the home leg. Um, let's just keep angry at them and say they beat us last time. Let's, let's destroy them because of it. Yeah. If somehow we could uh, survive without conceding here. That would be the best thing ever. As Rafa back when he gets underway. Holdsworth factory winning a header. Here we go. There's a chance. Darren Anderson to love. He loves to go forward, but apparently he loves to go backwards as well. Holdsworth picks it up the deep line playmaker today. Connor throw, throws it high and forward. Well, that doesn't throw it. kicks it, but Mullen now. Darren Anderson. Wide it goes. Well, it attempts to go wide. To McGowan. Good tackle low. And it's played all the way back to Miles. The backup goalkeeper. O'Connor now. Long ball forward. I'm not entirely sure why they keep playing the long ball forward because I'm pretty sure I've got their passing set to short. So I don't know what that's all about. I might have to double check that. Maybe that's what's been causing all these losses. Here comes Corbach on the right. Crosses in. Marshall scores an absolute thunderbolt of a scissor kick. And that's 1 0 to Bradford Park Avenue. I am actually going to check that out. Player. No, not opposition. Player. You've got pass it shorter. Pass it shorter. So why aren't you passing it shorter, you schmuck? Cancel changes. There has been no changes. 1 0 isn't so bad. I've got him with yet another high ball. I mean, I can't remember his saying play more direct. Here comes Mullen. Plays it wide to Johnson. At playing out of position at the minute, but Darren Anderton, that's 1-1, and that's a great a great goal on the well on the counter, I'm assuming. Saying that, we are playing quite well. We are slightly edging it, and probably that's you know just desserts. Yeah. Good finish. Keeper maybe could have done better. And it's the 56th minute, and Alex Johnson now has picked up an injury. I'm definitely trying to injure his players. I think I've got to leave him on, I've got to risk it. How tired is he? He's only 65. It's not too bad. Keep him on for now. I might take him off in about the 75th minute. I haven't got many options to replace him. So we're doing okay at this moment. One all wouldn't be so bad. Handy holds up has picked up a knock. Great. That's like two of our most key players going. Um, Andy holds up. You were going to replace um, Darren Anderton, but it looks like you're not going to be able to. Uh, Jack Stockdill is going to have to take that position there. Um, so yeah, they're injuring all his best players. Come on, Jack, Jack, Jack Stockdill, just crunch everyone, please. <sighs> right, so now there is an issue because everyone is is absolutely knackered. Hmm. What to do? Ben Park can sort of play in the left, so we, I think we switch Alex Johnson off, I think. Um, we put Ben Parker on, he's going to play very advanced, uh, which is kind of uh, a risk, but it is only for the last five minutes, and hopefully uh, we can hold on to make it 1-1. But here comes a chance, Stockdale strikes it, it's a good save by Danby, actually ha catches it as well, I'm pretty sure Stockdale was celebrating then, but uh, <laughs> it's not quite over. Long ball forward. Low misses, Love misses the header, but Low wins it. And now finds Mullen. Mullen is felled, but Keane can play it forward. So good balls, what's well a nut all. Uh, O'Connor's a bit out of position, but good tackle. But Bonswell swings a lovely ball. Marshall will probably win it, but he doesn't this time, surprisingly. Colbeck to Patterson. Back it goes to Boothman. And now it's Colbeck again. Square to Patterson. Good tackle from Stockdale. This is what he was brought on for. Mullen's in behind here. Can he make the most of this chance? Goes wide, great save from Danby. I'm not sure if it was going to hit, going into the side netting, but Ben Parker now comes on. And the corner will be taken by Darren Anderton, the goal scorer. Play to low, but it's cleared away. Killick is there, looking extremely tired. Last kick of the game. 1-1 one, one is a decent result. I'm not going to say it was disappointing. I'm going to say that was unlucky. Because I need to keep 
this morale up. And it's going to be it's going to be a testing uh, game. The next one, uh, we are going to try and get straight through to the other. And you know what, Anderton, I'm going to change your nick. I'm going to remove your nickname. You are now Gavin Rothery. Welcome back, son. Welcome back. You're going to do uh, wonders for us in the last game because you're not injured for it. That's why you've lost your name because there's going to be a new Darren Anderton at some point. Um, holds off his out for four to five weeks. Alex Johnson is out as well. And boys, we are going to struggle like crazy. Why, why are they complaining? That's not a bad result. I don't understand. All I could do is... I couldn't care less about the so-called record. I couldn't. Draw for your side. Uh, relied on a bit of luck. Yeah. Puts his neck, neck. Well, it's only half time in this tie. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it was a fantastic strike. That was that scissor kick. It was a good good goal, to be fair. I don't even think uh, Lynch would have saved it, uh, let alone Aaron Miles. Um, right then. So, we are in a bit of a pickle. Let's just move on until we get to the next game. Oh my god, it's in two days. Yeah, I think we're screwed. I really do. I mean, they're going to be tired as well, but... You know, we only injured one of their defenders. Sure, they've got defenders in in abundance. This is shocking. Shocking. Injuries galore all of a sudden at the wrong time. And we've lost Killick. Although it would, probably would have been too uh, too tired. Sterling style. Um, hmm. Wants it more. Yeah. There we go. No, I'm not worried at all. I'd rather not have to answer for this bull crap, but anyway. I think there's only natural gears like this, even for very talented managers like John and myself. That's very modest. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Playing surface, who gives a crap about the surface? You know, I suppose people say, oh, oh Lionel Messi's never played, uh, like, um, on a cold, wet night in Stoke or something. I'm not not saying that Stoke's pitch is bad, but it's just a saying. I mean, it could say the same for playing against someone like, I don't know, Histon. Remembering when Leeds got beat by Histon on quite possibly the worst pitch. But even, you know, the best players have to learn to play on the worst pitches. So, anyway. Um, yep, yeah, it's safe for both sides. Andy Holdsworth won't be available. Um, it's never nice to be at. But yeah. It's a shame, but I'm going to have to say that try and G someone up. I'm not going to comment who. Not yet. Jake Malt. He could come back, but it's unlikely. We could, yeah. It's a big risk. I'm not comfortable yet. Having secured an away draw, uh, away draw your side return slight favourites. I don't know about that. Confident to stick, as long as we stick to his uh, game plan, which is fine. I was kind of hoping it was going to be about six days. You know, it gives some people a chance to uh, recover. I'll tell you something. If their game is like not two days after as well, I'm I'm not going to be best pleased if I'm honest. So if I look at this uh, competition, right? Let's have a look at Oxford. It's well, Worc let's go on Worcester's schedule. Their game better be like two days. They get three days. Oh, okay, then that's fine. We get two days. That's pretty terrible. And it looks like. Leeds are going to finish outside the playoffs. Gutted for them. Gutted for them. Hopefully they'll uh, lend us some players next season because we are going to probably need them. Uh, in all honesty. So let's continue. Let's get to our team. Team talk if you like. Our team selection. I'm going to stick with match tactics. We are at home this time so I'm probably going to change the system. Well leave the system as standard instead of changing it to uh, counter. And if we get a couple of goals up, I might change the counter. Uh, hmm. Leeds have received 175k uh, fine. Is that a fine? Oh yeah, they got a, oh, they got some uh, money back because of Cardiff because they didn't uh, um, comply. So this is going to be a poor game. I, I'm telling you now. I mean, 
we are going to be struggling like crazy here for uh, players. Uh, Brooksby, surprisingly, on 91 fitness. Cannot believe that. Three players injured in one game. It's disappointing. It's, it's devastating, not disappointing. Stockdale, you're going to have to make the big jump up now, mate. Uh, we've lost our main man as well. I don't really want to risk Wesley in this game. He could prove the difference. Uh, but we'll edge it. You know what? You've done okay all season. Got an average rating of nearly seven. Alex, ooh, excuse me. Alex Johnson is going to finish on a seven point one one. Um, Daniel, I'll take you out for Ben Park as he's slightly fitter. Um, Archie Love, Brandon Wilson, you're going to take his place. And I'm going to need to have a think who we are actually going to play. Capitan is not going to be able to play. Tom Pierce could actually make an appearance in the playoffs, but. Do we really want to rely on, on an untried and tested player? We could probably take a sub spot, put it that way. Um, Carl Pleven, welcome back to the fold. You're going to be playing on the right wing. Or left wing. Right wing, you do slightly better on the right wing. This is not going to be an easy game. I know I've mentioned it about six times now, but it is not going to be an easy game. It's going to be a terrible game. It's going to be a dreadful game. Uh, Charnley, time to prove your worth. Earn your moolah. Defence is not the fittest. Rothery does need to not play. Um, where's Malt? He's not ready at all. Back to full fitness in one day. He's on 80%. I may I may put him in the ben on the bench. Yeah, You know what? No. We've got Archie Lowe. Uh, actually love even. He might be, do, be able to do something. Let's try that then. Uh, oh, I can't leave Rothery. Brooksby can play in the middle, but no one else can. Can anyone else play? You know what? Oh, I can't. Capitan has played. So many decisions. Isaac Nelson looks pretty solid as a player, but have we got any options in the, in the under-21s? I know I shouldn't really be having to look at these, but I'm desperate at this point. Ball in the midfielder, Elliot Osborne. He's not an attacking mid. That's disappointing. Uh, Callum Challoner, you're you can sort of play, but you're terrible. Callum Pilkington, you're no good neither. Let's try the under 18s then. Any of the young new new young players? Any of them? Can they play? Um. Hmm. Jordan Marriott, you're a target man. You can play him on the wings. Not really. You shouldn't really be getting used in this game. Um, midfielders: Joel Thompson, no good. Callum Marshall. I already looked at you guys, haven't we? I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, we, we're going to struggle. Let's just go back to his main squad. I don't really want to play someone completely out of position. I. I think we just stick with Rothery. We're going to have to sit with Rothery and just deal with it as, as it comes. That's all we can do, I think. Either that or we go like this. Uh, we play you in the middle. We play Rothery... Uh, in, well, we put Daniel Lowe on. Oops. Rothery, where are you? Get Mullen there. We. This is a long recording and I, and I apologise for this. Uh, Rothery's going to have to start on the bench. Um, we put Daniel Lowe on. You're going to go to left back. Parker's going to go to right wing. Sorry, left wing. And that's probably the best we can do at this moment in time. It's not ideal. It really isn't. But this is what we're going to have to go for. I mean, Pleaving is going to be terrible. We know this. So we're going to go for it with this. Who knows? See what's going to happen. We are slight favourites. Only slight. Um, hmm... They've looked good in training. Uh, I'd rather talk about 11 players. Yep. Let's go. I'm going to keep the normal set up. Come on, lads. Um, show me what you can do. You're nervous. That's not good. No pressure. Everyone else. There's more from you to come. Passionately. 
There we go. Right, start the match. Brooksby and Mullen kick off. Brooksby now. Side it goes, sideways it goes to Wilson. Good ball forward to Mullen. He can play it out wide and he does. Finds McGowan. Poor first touch, but he's still got it. And now Pleven now. He's not played many games, has it Pleven? And here goes McGowan. It's a good tackle though. And did the first um, thing in the bob. I do need to actually have a look and see if away goals. We know this, Tim Coe. We know this. We've been forced into it. You could argue it's a more defensive player in an advanced role. But he's still got decent attacking attributes. And I'm at half time, since there doesn't seem to be anything happening. Oh, maybe there is. Patterson throws it down the line to Colbeck. Bootham knocks it forward to Nuttall. Yeah, Nuttall. Good tackle, Danny Lowe. Finds Brooksby as well. Parker plays a long ball over the top. It's brought down well by Keane, but Brooksby plays in Mullen. Mullen's in behind here. Can he finish? He can't. He's got the finishing of... I don't know. <laughs> the finishing of a smart price version of finished tablets for the dishwasher. I'm just going to check something now, right? I'm going to go into home competitions. What are the rules for this? Away goals, does it count? Goal difference, goal scored. Well, that's league. But for the actual game itself. Playoff. Semi final. That's what we're looking for. So, the match should happen. Must have no more than five lone players, that's fine. Uh, how do you win? What does it say? It just says penalty shootout, his scores are still level. So, there is no... Oops, I didn't mean to see that. Um, yeah, so we are back to the match. Come on, we need, we need to do this for the fans. Come on, only one person reacts, Ben Parker. He knows all about fans. He's played for Leeds United. The best fans in the land. You may argue otherwise, but they are. Right. Second half goes, and it's Alan and Nuttall get the ball underway. Get the game underway. Well, Edgy. Is actually playing in his last game? Patterson square to Derbyshire. Derbyshire square to Keane. This is a dangerous looking attack. Alan is in behind here. Can he score? get the shot away it's a goal for Nuttall and all of a sudden guys are behind and it's Nuttall's 21st goal of the season devastation so changes are going to have to be made uh, Gavin Rothery is going to come on for Carl Pleaving uh, who's not <laughs> actually that tired but I just think we need someone better um Carl Pleaving, yeah, he's coming off. Ben Parker's going to have to stay on. Can I leave Parker there, really? Can I really do that? Effectively? I think we take Ben Parker off. He's, he's been poor anyway. Uh, let's bring um, Brooksby over to the left and take Ben Parker off for Rothery. And hopefully he doesn't get tight. He doesn't... Uh, die basically so let's confirm and give to him talk we need a reaction here I will pause it here to do a team talk it's gonna be a passionate um, encourage do it come on now lads half an hour we need one goal at least just to take it to extra time and the actual game itself has been very dire hardly any chances but I think it's because everyone's so tired but here come uh, Bradford Park Avenue on the attack again. Boothman, good tackle by Wilson. Now it's Rothery, finds Charnley. Lovely ball for Pleaving. Pleaving's in behind here, can he score? He goes wide, he crosses... Oh, he finds a side netting. Terrible effort. This is what happens when you're left with the, uh, the pieces that's left over. I actually love he's going to come on for Brandon Wilson. All right. We do that, we pause it, we get the team talk, we get angry, angry, show some passion, come on, do it, we need a late, late equaliser here, otherwise that is it, season out, season over, 
come on. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same without Rotherby getting injured. Let's just confirm changes and just accept our fate. We'll have to try next season. I apologise if uh, anyone was expecting me to get promoted first season. And truth be told, I was expected to get promoted myself any as well. But, you know, we've been let down by by the game, basically. And I know it's easy to blame the game, but when, you, when your goalkeeper gets injured, um, literally days after the, the uh, transfer window shuts, it's disappointing. Very disappointing. I've got to... I've got to calmly say they're unlucky. I can't, I can't be harsh to them. But it's going to be a rebuilding job. And that'll probably be the end of season review that I'm going to do. Yeah, they are devastated. Of course they are. Um, John Danby, yeah, he had a really good game. Yeah, well done. Uh yeah, I don't know. He, he didn't really do anything. He didn't do anything, didn't Danby. He didn't make any saves. Uh, in first game, he did. Um, hmm. I'll just say that, whatever. I really don't want to deal with all this crap. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have to apologise to the fans. Um... Maybe I'm not at all, John and I have to chat. No, blah, blah. I don't see any value in discussing anything what happened on the pitch. Yep, there we go. Very tired, of course, he is. So, with that, I'm going to have to call that video, that video there. We'll do an end of the season video next uh, review. And I uh, apologise if you were uh, expecting this to go up. It was just a, a step too far for us. Bradford Park have a new proving far too strong for some reason. Not entirely sure why. But they were probably too much changing the tactics is as cost us there. But uh, I'll do an end of season review video on the next video because this is nearly this is approaching half an hour. So hopefully you've enjoyed. Regardless, um, promising first game, let down in second game, injuries galore at the uh, inappropriate time uh, has definitely cost us. So hopefully you'll join us for the review. And until then, I'll see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>